Hello guys, one more video I want to upload today Just while I've got some time in the garden um, I mentioned in one of my earlier videos about a pot that, we, that I made at, at work with one of my colleagues um, uh, Ben at World of Water Blackpool This is my Darlingtonia Californica pot So built out of a plastic pond or water feature sump Obviously totally watertight, solid plastic Black tough flex pipe around the outside Drilled Drilled and cable tied in position All the way around this is I'm um, just before I go any further This is an idea that I got off watching a video um, from Southwest Carnivores over uh, over in America and I think I've said in one of the previous videos um, I wanted to make this because there's not many people that do many videos on Darlingtonia Californica it's not the easiest of carnivorous plant to grow I've always struggled with it but it's always been a strong favorite of plant of mine to grow I do love it most people love it but most people do struggle with keeping them alive because um, of their need to have constant sun but cool flushed roots it's not the easiest of thing to to do where they grow in the wild is quite a limited area so their needs are more specific than some other plants they're not as hardy as some other plants especially not the Saracenia which they grow quite closely with um, over in America um, so yeah that's why I decided to do this video because when you try to look on YouTube you try to find uh, ways of growing these plants it's very limited information and I, I will stress that this is purely experimental it might not work and the two plants that I've got growing in there I'll show you in a minute but the two plants I've got growing in there are not the healthiest or biggest plants they have been asleep all winter they got quite damaged over the winter um, so I'm hoping this will be a new lease of life for them I have grow I do grow them quite successfully um, but the way that I grow them isn't the most showy way I've had them growing in cold frames in sort of like the back shady part so kept quite cool and shaded they do grow well but they're not really too on display um, I've even had uh, success growing them from seed in that way but I, I would al I've always wanted to grow them sort of more on show in my bog garden that I've shown in a video before it's always grown really well in there um, so uh, yeah that's why I made this pot me and Ben made this pot an idea that I got from um, Saracenia Northwest on YouTube they didn't directly make the video it was a video of them unpotting what somebody else had made and the, I, I just got the idea from looking at the pot that this person had made for their Darlingtonia and they flourished in it so it gave me the idea to make this so yeah So pipe running round, and that's the pot. So holes drilled into the pipework going round, so the plant has got a constant supply of water rushing through the pot. I have put chip in the top. I'm not planning on keeping that in there. It's just when I've planted the put the plants in, little Darlingtonia californica there, just waking up. See, they're not the biggest of plants. These are very young plants, so I'm hoping that they grow quite well in here. That one's a little bit bigger, that one did quite well last year. Um, they're not massive mature plants, I want them to grow in this quite well. That's, that's, the, that's what the experiment is. Um, yeah, I will be taking this out. I, I, I pretty much purely put it in there, just so the water doesn't spray the compost everywhere. So once it's settled in and once it's growing well, I'll probably start to remove that and just just keep it more natural across the top it looks pretty good though so far it's got a nice aesthetic look to it um, but yeah the, it's run off uh, just a, a pond pump so it's got a 300 litre an hour pond tech pond pump and it's wired into my into my back room runs right around the back of the coal frames into my, into my house there and it's just plugged in I will have it on a timer so it will be on for so many hours during the day um, and then off during the night, it doesn't need to be on obviously during the night, it will be sat in water, it's got, a, it's got a, a drainage hole so the plants don't get too flooded. So when it starts to rain, it can only fill up to a certain point, 
uh, I don't want them I don't want them to be completely flooded I don't want the compost to start moving everywhere and jamming the pump up um, it's got a hessian lining around the house this is just a pond contour basket so it is quite it's holy all the way around it's designed to fit in a pond so it's designed to have water constantly running through it with hessian lining and uh, the mix I've used for these uh, again purely experimental I do like to experiment with certain things so it's equal parts moss peat perlite and um, silver sand I wanted to put a little bit of silver sand in there just to keep it a little bit heavier so it doesn't start moving around too much people might not like the mix again like I say it's just purely experimental I do like to, to mess about with, with different different mixes trying them out for my own enjoyment of the hobby but yeah Jubilee clip tape's got a T-junction there plastic plastic T-junction running down Jubilee clip to help the water pressure so it doesn't start leaking cable tied to it to keep it in place it's good and strong not gonna move about I can adjust the water flow so I can have it spraying out more I can have it spraying out less I can I can add more baskets in the future if I want to uh, this is just the beginning I will be doing a couple of more videos on it throughout the season um, to see how it develops to see whether it does the job it's intended to do um, I've got high ambitions for it if I don't if I'm I'm going to toot my own horn a little bit, but I am very impressed with the outcome. It's got a good, constant supply of water, constantly running over the, the Darlingtonia, uh, and I absolutely love this. It's cool to sit and watch, it's mesmerising. Um, I'm going to say the plants will love this. It's mimicking what they are used to in their natural habitat, having constant water rushing over the roots to keep the roots nice and cool. It's nice and simple, there's no faffing about. I've seen people using ice cubes to keep them cool. Um, yeah, and it just it just seems an awful lot of messing about. I, 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 I like this. I was, I'm very impressed with this. Who knows, if it does well, I might even build a, a border around it, turn it into like a nice little pond. Obviously it's still got to use RO water so there's not going to be many plants that can grow in it so I'll probably just have to stick to carnivorous. I might get some uh, baskets around the outside, grow some Venus flytraps, maybe some Saracenia, things like that in it. But yeah, uh, if you like it tell me, let me know and I'll do more videos on it and keep you updated on it. There's not, like I said, there's not many out there for Darlingtonia Californica. Uh, that's my little project. Thanks for watching, guys.